Hello, so following our last video with SwanNet2 project functions, what we're going to do today is run through data analysis. So basically, once you've got files in SwanNet projects, then how to download them and how to interpret them, how to send them to your client. First things first, you jump onto our website, acuvib.com.au, and head to the software and manuals tab located at the top, and then there's a drop down bar here. So if you select that, you're going to see our softwares. These are free of charge, as many computers as you like, and also the USB drivers are there. If you are connecting the instrument manually to USB, then that's where you go get the USB driver for your system and then install it. If you have troubles connecting the instrument, you might have to disable firewall protection. So for now, if you're just downloading data through the web interface, all you need is the Svan PC++ software. Download, it'll take you to a OneDrive link, install the software, and then that should save it to your desktop. After this is done, you can go back into your project on Svannet select the logger that you are wanting to download from. Basically what you're going to see is two different types of files. This is for a SVAN 958 sound and vibration logger. So what we've got is two different types of files. You have a logger or a buffer file and this is basically time history data. It's going to be the week's worth of data based on the logger step of what you've set. The result file will be a file every 15 minutes or however long you set the integration time. So for a lot of environmental monitoring 15 minute files for statistical noise is a typical measurement. So these result files will hold a lot of our statistical data and the logger file will hold just our PPV, our max, our mins, our RMS values for vibration as well as LEQ for sound. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a buffer file. So what we do, this buffer file time here is when the measurement started. This time and file here is when the servers transferred the data. So what we're really concerned about is the file start time. So as you can see, it was the 29th of March 2020 at midnight, 1.26 in the morning. So usually based on a file clearing um, in SvanNet, you'll have a new file either every Sunday night or however often you set it up or start and stop a measurement. So you'll have one buffer file uh, each week or each day or when you press stop on a measurement. So first things, I'm going to download this file. And that's going to go to the download on our computer. First things first, to stay on top of things, what I recommend is building two directories on your desktop and date these so you can stay on top of data because it's going to come through pretty often or fast when you're doing your monitoring. So once you've got it inside a directory, time history results 29th of March, what we're going to do is open the file. And by default, it's going to open it in PC++, which is what we've downloaded already. So straight away, you can see a time history graph here. I'm going to start with a few things first. So basically, this little icon down the bottom is going to scale the whole measurement into one graph so you can see all of your data from the start stop of the measurement. And then we're also going to scale it up and down as well on the y-axis. So everything's now squished into one visualization for us. If you hover your mouse over the right-hand side here, you're going to see a configurator. So this will pop out. All of the options here are based on whatever logging parameters you've set on the instrument itself. So, you know, you can tick on as many as you want or you can deselect as many as you want. I've done um, just some pretty basic measurements here. So max RMS on profile 1, max RMS for profile 2, which is velocity, and profile 1 is acceleration. So channel 1, 2, 3 is X, Y, Z. Profile 1 is acceleration, profile 2 is velocity. And as mentioned, we've also got our channel 4 for sound. So, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect everything because I'm not so concerned about channel 1, 2, and 3 for now. I'm just concerned about a PPV vector, which is a vector sum of all three axes. And I'm also concerned about LEQ, just for now. So straight away, you see that this, this adds two lines to our time history. Now you can change the color here to whatever you wish. And straight away, you can see that we've got the two values that we're looking for, or the two parameters. Now, top left, you have a table icon. Straight away, this puts everything into a table format for us. So it makes it nice and clear. And this is the best way to export data. So here we have a stopwatch. This is based on the logger step. So if I select none, then that's a 30 second logger step, which is what I set the instrument up for. You can change this one minute, 15 minutes. It's going to be a maximum value in that time, whatever you want. So 15 minutes, boom, you've got the, uh, you've got the files for 15 minutes. I'm going to leave it as per the DIN standard 30 second logger step. So let's go zero. 
and straight away you can see I've got PPV vector in meters per second. I can change that, right click, millimeters. So they're already, those are our results that we want to see per 30 seconds. To export this data, as you can see, I'm selecting one cell of the table. That's not going to work for me. So what you have to do is select the whole table and that's going to grab everything here. And you've got an Excel icon. So straight away, hit the Excel icon, add a new worksheet, press OK. So this is by default going to open up a blank sheet in Excel. And you can see already you've got LEQ per 30 seconds and you've got PPV per 30 seconds. Now, by default, it brings us a number of decimal places. What you can do is go control shift down and then you have a decimal place adjuster here. So we're going to go to for vibration three should be fine. So already you can see that we've got our vibration data and our sound data. Channel four profile one, which is a weighted sound. So after this is done, what we can do is we can go back to Svan PC++, grab the graph view. What we can do is straight away go edit, copy. And you can go back to your Excel data, go Control V, and straight away you've got your time history graph in the same file as all your Excel data. So some clients might like to see it visually as well. And there you go, you've already got those two going. So in regards to time history data, everything else is you know interchangeable. Whatever logger steps you set or whatever logger parameters you want, you can select these on and off at your choosing. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to show you how to deal with the result files which is the 15 minute statistical files that come majority for sound data. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to our span net. I'm going to deselect the buffer file and I'm going to select for example 5 or 6 just for a bit of an argument's sake, 7 of them. So what it's going to do, you download the files and Svannet's kindly going to zip this for us. So what it's going to do is all those files, you know that this is based on one day or two days. You can grab these, copy them, put these into once again a directory on your desktop to make things easy for yourself. Don't lose it, otherwise it's going to be a bit confusing for you. So summary results, 30, 29th of March. I'm going to extract this. Extract, yes, okay. And so straight away, we've got all of our files here. Now, to merge these files, you can't merge a buffer file or a logger file with results. So make sure if you're going down here, you see a buffer or a logger, remove them, put them back in the folder where there's time history. These are all result files and they should technically be in chronological order and it's going to make a nice merge for us. The only way to do this is opening Svan PC++, go to File, Open. You can't merge these from the folder and drag them in. You have to merge them this way. So what we do is go shift to the bottom, however many files you have, a day's worth, a week's worth. Press open, merge and open. Yes, it's going to create a multi-file. So that file will save to the same directory. Press save. No, no files are skipped. Nine were merged. Beautiful. So what we've got now, same time history graph, but we just have a bit of a different file structure. So we, let's go back to the configurator. I'm going to tick off... Profile 1 for now, but I'm still going to go Profile 1 Channel 4, which is our A-weighted sound measurement using 958. If we go down to LAEQ Histogram, we go to, typically for environmental, L10 and L90. So straight away, we've got our statistical results based on however many files I've merged together. Put them back into table format, and you can see that these are based on 15 minutes. So Already we've got our statistics, which is what we want for sound. We've got our LEQ in the previous export, and we've also got our PPV. What we can do now, same thing, grab the whole table and merge this to Excel. Use the same sheet we're working on, and boom. What we've got now, we've got our statistical data in the same worksheet as our other results that we've just merged. So typically for a lot of environmental logging, you, this is all the data you need. You can send this to your client. You can make your own reports based on this. But that's basically a simple way to export data from Svannet, analyze it, and put it into Excel. Thanks.